do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have studied what is hash law and their application and now based on that we are going to do a numerical which is based on hash law uh, and its constant heat of summation so let us do about that so this is a numerical where we have to calculate that what would be uh, the standard enthalpy of a reaction uh, of uh, two times of fe when it reacts with uh, the oxygen so as to form fe2o3 so in this case uh, suppose if this reaction is uh, cannot be calculated experimentally and uh, for that we have few data that has been given to us that is basically when two aluminum is reacted with fe2o3 so as to form two times fe as well as a2o3 and the change in enthalpy of for that reaction that is for this reaction is been given as minus 84 uh, minus 847.6 kilojoule by that of uh, when the another reaction is also been mentioned to us where uh, two uh, types of aluminum is been reacted with the oxygen so as to uh, form Al2O3 that is aluminum trichloride uh, so as to form so as to give a change in enthalpy of minus 1670 kilojoule so based on these two data that we have or these two uh, reactions that we have as well as we have their uh, uh, heat of reaction or we could say the change in enthalpy at standard states that we have so based on that thing we could calculate what would be the value of uh, standard enthalpy of this reaction how let me tell you about that so the thing that we have to know is we have to know that what is uh, the enthalpy of reaction that we could get uh, by considering these two reactions so this is the main reaction that we have to calculate and or where we have to uh, because of which we have to calculate the delta h naught that is the standard enthalpy of reaction so let us write that so therefore the main reaction that we need is basically two times of fe iron which is present in a solid state plus uh, that of three by two times of o2 which is present in a gaseous state and from that we will get fe2o3 uh, which which has a delta h naught of suppose h1 this is what we have considered and the thing that we uh, got to know because suppose uh, if i say that this is basically a which is converting into c and now uh, we have also did in has law that when a has been converted into b as well as b is converted into c and from the summation of uh, a to b uh, the enthalpy of uh, reaction as well as uh, the summation when we will do the summation of the uh, h3 which is nothing but uh, for uh, the reaction when b is being converted into c so by summation of h2 and h3 we could easily calculate uh, what would be the summation what would be the overall uh, enthalpy change when a is being converted into c that we have did in our earlier lecture that is in a lecture of Haslow. so uh, now the main thing is uh, with us that how can we calculate uh, when we have uh, this equation uh, and the given data that has been given to us is basically the first step that they have give, given to us is this that is two times of aluminium plus Fe2O3 that should give us two times of Fe plus Al2O3 as well as the delta H of that reaction I will name this as uh, 2 so that's why it has been given as mentioned as minus 847.6 kilojoule but the thing is the iron that we need on the left hand side that is on the reactant side and now in this case i could see that the data that has been given to us uh, in this thing the iron uh, atom is been present on the right hand side so the one thing that i could do is i could reverse the process so if i reverse the process then only this iron would be considered to be the reactant while this all uh, aluminum and ferric oxide trichloride so that you could see here it would be considered as the product so as well as we need as uh, fe2o3 as a product also so for that what we have to do is we have to reverse the reaction so this is the main thing that we have to do and because we are applying algebra here basically we are reversing the reaction and we have did in our heat of reactions also as well as uh, in the criteria and guidelines uh, of uh, for mentioning the heat of reactions we have got to know that we could change uh, or we could reverse the reaction so in this case we will reverse this reaction so as to obtain our original reaction that of which we have to calculate the standard enthalpy of reaction so i will that is uh, reverse the reaction so 
so while reversing the reaction what happens is basically this 2 times Fe plus Al2O3 this will now give us 2 times of aluminium plus uh, Fe2O3 and in this case the delta H uh, value that we have that is for H2 will now will be which you earlier had a sign of minus 80 847.6 kilojoule now it will be plus uh, 847.6 kilojoule because we have reversed the reaction and in this reaction as you could see it is minus which makes it to be an exothermic reaction but we have also uh, studied the guidelines uh, for mentioning the heat of reaction and in that case we have got to know that uh, the enthalpy if get uh, the reaction get reversed then the exothermic reaction will be converted into endothermic reaction so this is the reaction that we need and in this case we have got the value of h2 to be uh, and i will consider this thing as a uh, equation one so the second uh, uh, data that we have the second data that we have is basically they have given to us as uh, two times of aluminium plus that of three times of uh, o2 as well as it should have given us al2o3 so in this case the delta h that they have uh, given to us it was uh, found to be somewhere 1670 kilojoule but the thing uh, is which we should consider is uh, in our reaction that we have to calculate what would be the enthalpy of that reaction and in that we know that uh, 3 by 2 oxygen is present on the left hand side so in this case also as you could see this 3 by uh, 2 o2 uh, is present on the left hand side so that means we don't have to arrange this thing neither we have to multiply with any kind of number factor or uh, we don't have to add or subtract this thing so this let me name it as equation number two so by the help of these two things or these two equations we could easily calculate what would be the uh, value of this thing because suppose if this is a which is converted into c and now what we have is we have a which is converted into b and the b is now converted into c and what we have to do we have to sum up this h2 and this h3 and it will be very much easy to calculate but uh, before that let us confirm whether the reaction that we are going to do uh, will be similar to that of the original reaction that we have to calculate or not so for that equating one and two so if we equate one and two then in uh, equation one what we have got uh, we have got this value it was found to be somewhere uh, two times of Fe which was added with Al2O3 that is aluminium trioxide so as to form uh, aluminium plus uh, Fe2O3 and in this case uh, the delta H2 which was found to be 847.6 kJ. So this is the step one that we have got or equation one that we have got but the equation number two that we have got is two times of aluminium plus 3 by 2 of O2 and it should give us Al2O3 and in the case the delta H03 that we have got it was 1670 kJ. So what we are going to do we are going to do a simultaneous equation just like we did in algebra in our school studies and uh, from this what we have got to know that this Al2O3 and this Al2O3 will uh, basically they will cancel out each other as well as uh, this aluminium and this aluminium which is present on the right hand side and the left hand side even they will cancel out each other then the reaction that is left with us is 2 times of Fe plus 3 times 3 by 2 times of oxygen that should have given us Fe2O3 so this is the same reaction that we have got here that is what we have to calculate so this is can be calculated only if uh, we have sum up these two equations that we have so since we have sum up these two equations so therefore the enthalpy of the reactions that we have uh, in equation one and equation three should also be sum up so therefore what the thing that i will do is i'll add this two equation and let us see what is the answer that we could get so we have got basically the delta h1 which is nothing but h2 plus h3 or delta h2 plus delta h3 and in this case what we have got it as minus 82 822.4 kilojoule. So this is how we could calculate the
enthalpy of a particular reaction uh, which is not known to us or which cannot be calculated experimentally but by the help of Hess law it would be very much easy to calculate so this is how we have calculated uh, the reaction or the change in enthalpy when iron is been reacted with oxygen or the combustion of uh, iron will take place so as to form Fe2O3 so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and this is a very simple numerical that uh, you could do so for solving this kind of numerical or this kind of equation the one thing that should be considered uh, that you should consider is you should know that which kind of a reaction or what reaction that they have provided to you that means in step number one or step number two the reaction that they have provided to you so in that reaction which reaction should be reversed or uh, which reaction should be multiplied by a number factor like two three etc so this should be in our mind and this should be uh, very much uh, easy for us to know that which and what step should be applied at what uh, time or at what condition so so as to get uh, the enthalpy of an unknown uh, for a reaction uh, whose uh, enthalpy is not been known to us or that cannot be calculated uh, experimentally so if it comes in your uh, exam or it uh, if you are trying to solve this kind of numerical so this things should be very much uh, in our consideration so as to solve that numerical or that kind of equation so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this uh, uh, numerical or this application of a has law so share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much